Hi everyone, it's Simon Kenny here at weatherweb.net. Just a very quick update for you. This is the look ahead on Sunday the 14th of December. Thanks for watching. Now just before we get on with that, a reminder that this week is the phone final posting date uh, for my uh, DVD and book. The Weatherwise DVD um, is two hours in length and it's a little five minute sections about the weather. So it tells you about highs and low pressure, fronts, clouds, tells you how to forecast the weather. That's available now and also my pocket weather forecaster. This is a book that's in full colour, just short of 90 pages. It's a coffee table book and basically it uh, is in full colour. It shows you pictures of clouds, tells you what those clouds are, tells you uh, what weather they usually bring. Um, the final posting dates for both of those, second class post, is on Thursday this week and you can order both of those from the website right now. They make ideal Christmas presents. If not, of course, you could always level off a few tables or block open a few doors with them. Multiple uses for weather web products there. Um, so just a quick look ahead to uh, 24th December. This week is uh, going to be up and down in temperatures, but interesting to see the Christmas period. Looks as if it is going to be turning milder. Here's that uh, southwesterly flow, the mild southwesterly flow, but a cooler westerly flow across Scotland. The cold air really just piled up here towards the north. You see the Canadian shows it. ECMWF, very similar as well, but it's about 12 hours quicker on the ECMWF. What the ECMWF tries to do is, during uh, the Christmas Eve period, is bring in colder air, whereas the others slow it up a little bit. GFS Ensemble, looking very similar to the Canadian, brings in the milder weather to the south, but got this colder air towards the north, getting in during Christmas Eve. Could be quite a stormy spell, actually, Scotland, Northern England, Northern Ireland, with a battle going on between this warm air to the south and the colder air to the north. But of course we've been telling you throughout about how we thought the period uh, of Christmas Day itself and after Christmas would go colder and the GFS Ensemble picking up on this look, this is the 27th, bringing in north and northwesterly winds, bringing some really cold air southwards. <laughs> It's still there on the 29th, the cold air just trying to pull away towards the east. Milder west to south west is trying to get back into the south, but you have to bear in mind that the GFS Ensemble always wants to try and get back into milder west or west south west. So the fact that this cold air is here up towards the north and the east is something significant. I actually don't think the milder air will get back into the UK. I think we're going to go cold through to the end of the year. And the 7 to 10 day mean that the 500 millibar flow looks like this. We've got the ECMWF on the left, GFS on the right. This is for the period from next Sunday through to Wednesday the 24th, so up to Christmas Eve. And you can see here both of them look. We've got the strong jet coming in across the Atlantic, trying to build the ridge down towards the south. That's what buckles the flow around more into a west south westerly, tries to get the milder air in. But look, here's that part of, pile of cold air up towards the north. <laughs> And so interesting uh, times ahead as we head towards the Christmas period. But of course, we'll keep you updated on that throughout here at weatherweb.net. And a more full update for you tomorrow. Don't forget the book and DVD orders then. If you want them making ideal Christmas presents for you or for a friend, get your orders in as soon as you possibly can so we can ensure that we catch the Christmas post. But for now, whatever you're doing, thanks for watching and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.